Okay, back with my final video for now. Um, as I said a few couple of videos ago, this isn't the easiest thing for me to do. Um, put myself out there. I have done um, a tag along with me very recently. I put it up um, briefly, had a second look at it and thought it was awful. So um, I have removed that. The Hopefully the next video I do, I do will be um, a better one of those. So it will be a craft along tutorial type thing. Anyway, for now I'm going to show you these four TN, Traveller's Notebook style journals. They're a little bigger than the um, classic TN. They are four and a half by eight and a half. They have 60 sides, counting fronts and backs. Um, and these are similar to the um, Stamperia ones that I put up recently. Um, I'm gonna do these all in one video, so this might be a bit long because I do want to show you all of them. They're just cardstock, they're a little, um, a little cheaper in the shop than most of my other journals. Although, to be honest, there is quite a lot of work in these, even though I haven't used the fabric covers. So for the ties, uh, for the closure on three of them, I've put nylon in the back and I've put the ribbon through. So there's a short end. This end just goes round and then you can tie it at the front there. I'll show you again at the end. So this one is um, has a book plate on the front. This is a removable um, definition. I've used Adventure for this one. I've got UK map on the front and United States on the back, appropriately. Hi, America. Um, okay, so this again is a mixture of tea stain paper, scrapbook paper, and handmade ephemera that I've made, book pages, got some um, cardstock type craft paper so we've got a top pocket there this has got an old book page in it from a bird book um, tried to pick toning I suppose these are nature journals and they're they're erring on the my usual pink purple type of color scheme with a bit of yellow so on this side I've got a belly band paper lace over paper and that's got, um, I can get it out. <laughs> that's got a vintage card, which somebody has enhanced, shall we say? I'm not sure if they've actually painted that or just glittered it. Um, I put the stamp on, that's not the original stamp. The writing is original. And there's a library card on there. And although those will hold in there I just like to clip them in just for a bit of extra security there this is um, uh, what's this this is a vintage envelope that I've um, just a plain vintage envelope that I've collaged a bit of I think it's uh, people have coined it envy art <laughs> it's fun to fun to do I don't know quite hard is one of my faux or Tracy Fox's faux um, ephemera alteration tags with a little bit of decoration at the top there. Got ledger paper. This is scrapbook paper. This is a snippet that I've made and glued in. I think I've glued all the snippets in. I think next time I'm going to make them into, hopefully, make them into paper clip. Um, embellishments so you can take them off but anyway that's for next time I didn't think of it this time this is the Speedwell fairy in this little side tuck a bit of collage on there I've got a ball pen with a dangle in each one on a fabric tab this is uh, this original idea the Stamperia ones I did before um, the original idea was from Gail Agostinelli um, and I followed her pocket tutorial to make these long pockets and then put the tags in. Although, to be honest, I do vary a bit. <laughs> and there's another flower fairy in there just because she went nicely, picked up the yellow. And this is a 
fold out with a pocket on the inside. Oof, it's just glued in. And there's a little journal card there. Um, a faux receipt. It's a scan of an old vintage receipt. That's that one. So that one's adventure. Then we've got the, um, I think these are the great tits. So that's uh, tied again in the same way. This is Tim Holtz um, paper. And I've actually, um, I think I've used two sheets and sewed them together. So you get a bit of extra thickness there. Did I? Sorry, I really can't remember. I think I did. Uh, more Tim Holtz paper there. This is the envelope on this one. This is, again is a plain vintage old envelope that I've decorated. And on this one I've um, just put a bit of sari silk on the paper clips. I think I had that sitting on my desk and it, the green went nicely with the, the birds. Again, there's sort of an inside pocket there. Just need to, oh, that's glued. Usually put those in a little bit early, but they're fine. Too impatient to wait for the glue to dry. It's the alterations tag. This is a nice book. I can't remember what it's called. Something about the island. Scottish Island, but that's got some lovely images in it. It's another of those um, heart tabs. This one again is glued in. Pretty tea staining. Tim Holtz in the centre. Um, top pocket with a couple of book pages in there. tab with um, dangle. It's the flower fairy with this uh, tucked into the side collage and I've sort of matched the colours again. This is the um, belly band with postcard. This is the original stamp. Um, I can't see a date on that but obviously it's quite old. Um, and a library card. It's a bit of lace down the centre of that one. And this is Gail's pocket again. This is the tag. They're just on card. Just to give them a bit of extra sturdiness. And there's a journal card in there. It's backed onto tea dyed paper. So that's We'll call that one um, Two Birds. This one is my Bird of Paradise and I've used um, Yggdrasil, I think it's pronounced. It's um, an Icelandic folk tree, Scandinavian, not Icelandic, Scandinavian tree whose roots and bar branches bind together heaven and earth and hell. And I think it's pronounced Yggdrasil. Um, so that's a book plate. Again, you can take that out. It will slide out and you can put another one in. This is wallpaper over card stock. And again, I've used that same sort of tie. It's the envelope. I'll try and go through a bit quicker. This is getting a bit long. Again, we've got a vintage postcard. Um, it's not written on this time. It's just potluck, really, whether they're written on or not. And that's lace over paper. It's a little tab with a bit of sari um, silk there. It's a side collage with the, the ground ivy fairy. Tim Holtz in the middle of that one. Pocket there. Just use another bit of the wallpaper for that. It's very, very expensive wallpaper. It's not old. Um, I chose it to wallpaper one wall in my bathroom. 
very bold for me, but it looks gorgeous and I love it. This is a Nick page on there. And the starling, I've chosen the starling because the colours match. And that's our top pocket with an old book page in it. So that's that one. And just to show you again, I leave the short one, wrap this one round a couple of times and tie it with this one. And then the fourth one of these, so we'll call that one Yggdrasil. <laughs> um, the fourth one of these, just lost the um, bead off it. Where's that gone? Oh, it's off that one. There is a pretty dangle on that one. The bulb pin had come undone, so I'll make sure that's attached. This one is scrapbook paper, um, just on its own. It's quite a thick paper. Um, this one has got a book plate with True Story written on it, a bit of lace over there. They're all reinforced with muslin down the spines. This one is perhaps the most feminine. It's the envelope. This time I've just literally embossed it and put the image on. A little bit of lace on this side. There's my um, fair ephemera tag. Some vintage lace and sari silk on there. Little pocket on that page. It's got an Edith Holden page in it. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but that's actually printed with uh, sort of line flowers. It's very pretty, actually. This one has got a postcard that's been written on. That's from 1914. And it's an old rectory here in the UK. This is the um, snippet of the button. This one has got a pink dangle. And the pocket has got a rose. And I've used Tim Holt's um, film strip on that one. Our little side collage the sweet pea fairies and that's that one so those as I say will all be going into the shop as well and um, priced a little more cheaply thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all again soon hopefully with that um, uh, tag I don't want to call it tutorial tag along let's just call it tag along which is what I'm titling them so I'll see you all soon bye bye